This is Jesse Goldberg Strasser joined by David Harris of the Lansing Lugnuts. First things first, where were you when the Blue Jays drafted you? Uh, I was at home with my family. It was kind of cool because the fact that like I, I got drafted a little bit later, so I mean, it was just me and my dad and my cousin at, at, uh, at the beginning. For some reason, my mom and my dad, or excuse me, my mom and my uh, brother wasn't there for some reason. Right when they showed up, got to the house, my name popped up, so it was kind of cool. and It was like God's time and when he, he wanted it to be called and it's his plan. It wasn't necessarily what we wanted, but it's all right. I just, I'm thankful to be here and, you know, to be with these guys and have an opportunity, you know, so that's pretty cool. Have you had any other members of your family play uh, professional sports? Uh, my uh, my um, granddad on my um, dad's side, he played uh, in the Negro Leagues and he played uh, some minor league baseball as well. And uh, my dad, he played with the Cardinals and the White Sox and he made all the way up uh, to AAA. He coached with JT with uh, with us. Really? With, uh, head coach for Lansing Lugnuts. And it's, it's pretty cool how uh, small world it is. What's your dad's name? Uh, Mike Harris. And let's go back to your granddad. Do you know what teams in the Negro Leagues he played for? I'm, I'm not sure. What stories have you heard? Uh, that he uh, <laughs> was a handsome guy and uh, <laughs> that uh, he was a great ball player. He, was, he loved sports and he loved games. I didn't get a chance to really get to know him by the time I was growing up and at the right age I never got a chance to hang with him or anything like that so he, he died when I was well, I was young so it was tough but I didn't get a chance to find out all the stories but I heard he was an amazing guy. Did you play any sports other than baseball growing up? Uh, I played basketball when I was uh, seventh grade through my junior year of high school so that was my other sport that I played. Yeah. What position? Uh, I played shooting guard, shooting guard and point guard. I had some handles and I had a pretty good jump shot. <laughs> When did you decide, you know what, baseball's my sport? Man, I mean, it was in my blood, so, I mean, I kind of figured that since uh, my dad did it, why can I, why can I not do it, you know? Makes so, sense. yeah. With baseball, what positions have you played in your career? Uh, I've played short. I played third, second. I pitched. I was a pitcher growing up um, and, of course, outfield. You know, I've kind of been all over the place and kind of think about it. How many gloves have you had? Uh... Two or three. I mean, I never really uh, mix it up a little bit. But uh, if you if you're counting when, for, such as like my age when I was five, man, I, I don't know. Man. There's been there's been a lot. You know, I get I get a new one every single year. So after you graduated high school, what was your path through college? Um, I went to Navarro Junior College. Um, my sophomore year, we won the JUCO World Series, which was pretty cool. Um, it's a D1 uh, JUCO. It's pretty awesome. You know, we played in uh, Grand Junction in Colorado. Mm -hmm. So, that, I mean, that was pretty cool. That was a lot of good stories there and a lot of good memories with those guys. So, and uh, from there, I went to Lamar University. Um, didn't do bad. Did pretty good. Uh, just felt like that place wasn't for me. So, and then I went with uh, D2. I went to Southern Arkansas with uh, a lot of guys that I went to junior college with, which was, which was neat, and it ended up pretty well for me. What's the best field you've ever played at? Oh man, there's been, it's been a few. Uh, Vancouver's pretty sweet. Uh, I played in uh, there's a place in uh, New Mexico when I, we played the Connie Mac World Series. Uh, that field that feels pretty sweet as well. I forgot what what that place was called. That feels pretty nice as well. Uh, um, I played at Minute Maid. Minute Maid is pretty awesome. You know you can't be a big league field, right? So. Wow. Uh, how did you play at Minute Maid? Uh, we played in a, a D2 tournament. It was like at the beginning of the year. We played all the D2 teams around the around the nation. It was pretty cool. With your dad going through the Cardinals organization, did you grow up a Cardinals fan or are you from Houston so you were an Astros fan? Uh, I was a fan of, of the Astros, of course. I mean, I didn't have a specific team, but I mean, it was always like my dad was always for the Cardinals, especially in like 2004 when they had the, uh, the three Bs, the um, it was like, you know, the Astros versus the uh, Cardinals and A-Rod hit that home run. That was, and my dad got pretty pumped after that. Um, but I, I never really had a team I was stuck on to. Did you have a player? Uh, believe it or not, it was A-Rod growing up. Really? <laughs> yeah, A-Rod. I believe it. He was the best. Yeah, he was, he was great. And I, I loved him, man. He's, he was like my idol, you know, growing up. So I would say Alex Rodriguez was, yeah. Who's the maybe the most famous or the person in baseball that you've met that made the biggest impression on you? Oh, man. Um, so many. Um, J.R. Tolles. J.R. Tolles, I wouldn't say he's that famous, but he was with the Astros, and he was a strong Christian. Uh, Josh Hamilton, 
he was pretty awesome, man. I got a chance to shake his hand. It was pretty cool. Um, those guys, um, what they what they said, how keeping God first and you know keeping yourself second was big, man. It, it made a big change in my life and understanding that I'm second is so true because every time you feel like you put yourself first or you start your head starts getting a little bit big, it's like God humbles you and puts you back where you're supposed to be. So I mean, I remember what with those things that they would say. And another thing with uh, Chris Davis. Chris Davis, I, I got a chance to meet Chris Davis because he played at uh, Navarro, Navarro College as well, the junior college. And uh, he was he would say, those who think that they are exalted will be humbled, and those that are humbled will be exalted. So, I mean, hearing that verse got into my mind, and I understood, like, man, I, I'm not first. I'm, I'm second, and I'm not in control. He is. God is. So, Especially when you play, baseball is considered a game of failure. Yeah. Does that help you keep perspective? Yes, absolutely. It uh, it helps you understand just to enjoy it because one, this life is temporary, and you know you never know what's going to happen the next day. So why not just go out there and just play as hard as you can, like it is your last, you know? And I think that mindset gets gets me by, you know, and it helps me stay positive and for the guys and a good team player and a Christian man that I'm developing into. Speaking with the Lansing Lugnuts, David Harris. After you were drafted, did you have a professional baseball experience where you said, all right, now I'm in the minor leagues? Uh, yeah, man. I would, I would say my first first two or three games, man, I started off pretty slow. I was striking out like crazy. I was like, man, this, this game is a little bit faster than the, than what I'm used to. But, I mean, just getting your feet wet and then getting used to all those uh, uh, the timing and the, the speed of the game and learning how to – slow the game down which is I think that was my biggest biggest jump um it made made a big difference I would say but that uh that alone definitely is just the biggest biggest difference is the speed I hear that I hear that from the Lugnuts coaching staff from other players that importance of slowing the game down how do you slow the game down uh don't try don't try to rush everything uh control what you can control um try to do all your repetition game like speed such as when you I hit BP when you take ground balls, when you're taking fly balls, um, even in it during in and out, just understanding like the runners and uh, you know just not trying to go after the game and let the game come to you. And that's that's the biggest. I think that's the biggest thing right there. All right, so your feet got wet. You yeah. slowed everything down. How did you spend the off season? Uh, I I went back to school. You know I um I'm studying in sports management. I went back to Southern Arkansas, uh, spent some time there, worked out. Uh, of course, took maybe like a month and a half off, you know, just to rest my body. Yeah. Not used to coming off of a hundred and some odd games, and then you know your body just it's it's dead. Honestly, that's the best word I can use. And uh, then of course uh, after that, during Christmas, that's when I hit it hard. And from then on, I was just working out with my dad at his facility. So that was a uh, pretty neat you know get, be able to hang out with my dad and him just you know teaching me his old ways and even though he's 53 years old he still can do all the things that he did when he uh, used to play and he he still can grab a bat have his old school stance and go out there and just hit line drives all over the place and throw <laughs> the best BP out of anybody I ever I ever ever uh, hit BP off of so I mean he's, uh, he's a great guy and he's a Christian man and I learn from him every day you know and that's that's a blessing that I I have for sure. Did you enter this season with any personal goals? Uh, to do everything that I can to just help the team win and mainly just do uh, the best that I can and uh, learn every single day from somebody and be a sponge as much as I can. And I mean, the numbers will numbers will be there, you know. So I'm not I'm not worried about the numbers or such as when it comes to goals on on, the, on that end, but just mainly just to enjoy it and. Have fun, and that's the main thing that I, that's my goal to focus on. Let's say a fan comes out to the ballpark, yeah. happens to see you play. What do you want that fan to take away from watching your game? Yeah, this kid plays the game hard, and he doesn't let uh, little things get in his way, and that this kid uh, is a great ball player, not just the fact that he is uh, on the field, but Man, of course, if a fan would see me off the field, would say he's a good he's a good guy off the field as well. So, and finally, with David Harris of the Lugnuts, beyond baseball and beyond athletics, what are other secret talents that you have? What are you great at? 
I hear that. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people say that I can sing a little bit. Uh, All right. I, I got I got a little voice. Um, I can play the drums. I know how to play the snare. Of course, I love basketball. You can't you cannot love basketball. That's of course that's the off season stuff right there. Um, <laughs> but mainly, mainly my thing is uh, singing. I can sing a little bit. That's so awesome. yeah, for sure. <laughs> David, thank you very much for your time. Well, thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks, I'm Jesse Goldberg Strassler. This is Lansing Lugnuts Baseball on Big Country 92.1.